Do 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 do. Card fight area. Card fight area. Where am I? Jeez. It's like a school? How we doing guys? It is John here bringing you another video for today. For today's video, I thought we'd do something a little different and show you guys how to install Cardfight Area for Mac. Now for Windows users, it's probably really easy to install Cardfight Area, but for Mac, not so much. There really isn't a direct way to install Cardfight Area. And that's a real shame because there are a lot of cool tournaments that are currently happening in Cardfight Area. Take for example, the Cardfight Vision tournaments that happen every now and then. And you can't even participate in them if you don't own a PC. So I thought I would show you guys an updated version. I know there's a few tutorials uh, lingering online. Um, I know they're a little older, so I thought I'd try and update with a later tutorial to show Mac users how to install Cardfight Area. And I will try to have all the links for everything that I use in the descriptions down below. So you can try and follow along as well as a step-by-step -step guide in order to try and make it a little easier if there's any confusion. But guys, if you do like this style of content, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, guys, let us jump right into how to install Cardfight Area on Mac. All right, guys, so let us get right into it. So there are going to be a few things you need when it comes to installing Cardfight Area here on your Mac, and that is going to be Cardfight Area itself, a application called Wineskin to help us run it, and of course, some way to unzip the folder or unarchive the folder. So, of course, I will have links for everything in the descriptions down below. Uh, for the Cardfight area over here, website, all you need to do is simply scroll all the way down and they should have the latest version on the bottom of their website over here. So you can see here 3.31 full version. Just go ahead and click that and download it. I have already done so myself. Next, over here, you're going to have what uh, the GitHub in the description for the Wineskin application. Uh, for this one, all you need to do is go over here and click this guy over here, download Wineskin Winery V1.8.42. Might be a different version at the time of this recording, but it still should be good nonetheless. And personally, uh, another, uh, like I said, application to unarchive the folder. And my recommendation is this guy over here, the unarchiver. Super good application, use it myself, completely reliable. All right, so after you have unarchived the Wineskin folder, as well as unzipped the Cardfight Area folder, you should have two files, the Wineskin Winery application, as well as Cardfight Area uh, itself in the form of a folder. So we're gonna first double click over here to Wineskin Winery. You should have a screen relatively to what you see here, completely blank. Uh, one thing to note is the wrapper versions over here. If you have an older version, I do recommend to try and update. Um, my personal experience, I had some problems earlier and were simply solved just by updating the wrapper to the latest version. So if you need to, I would recommend doing that. Uh, afterwards, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click this plus button over here as we're going to create a new engine. Uh, for me personally, I am comfortable with the latest engine over here for wine, but if need be, um, and you're having some trouble, you might want to try and download an older version. But for me, the newest version is completely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and download and install. I'm going to click OK give it a couple of seconds to install onto my computer. Awesome. And since we have the engine up and running, our wrapper is now successfully updated. We're going to go ahead and create a new blank wrapper. And what are we gonna call this wrapper? Well, I'm going to call mine card fight area. We're gonna press okay. And this is going to create a application itself to help house and install card fight area in. It is gonna take a few minutes, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to when it is installed, and I will be right back. One thing to note real quick, guys, is that if you see something like this, um, that is perfectly normal, the configuration, um, as well as it might be because I've already previously installed it, but if there's another prompt that opens up and it tells you that it needs to install or run certain things, perfectly fine, and uh, you'll be okay. All right, and then after a couple of minutes, it should spit out the wrapper creation is finished. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and click the view wrapper in Finder. And it's going to open up this guy over here, Cardfight Area. Let's go ahead and actually uh, click out of this. We really don't need that anymore. Um, next, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna install Cardfight Area itself directly onto the application. And to do that, we're going to double click Cardfight Area. 
It's going to give us this installation screen over here. We're gonna click install software. Once you see this installer over here, you're gonna to wanna to click the copy a folder inside. We're gonna go ahead and find the Cardfight Area folder that we downloaded previously. Right there, Cardfight Area full version 3.1. So I'm gonna highlight that. We're gonna click choose. And now it's going to try and install all of the contents in that folder inside this application. That way it makes a executable and runnable program. That program being Cardfight Area. So it might take a few minutes guys. So I will cut to when the uh, installation is successful and I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, and after a few minutes, we should have a window that prompts up that looks like this. It says choose executable, and we wanna make sure that it is the program files, Cardfight Area full version 3.31 at the time of this recording, as well as what's most important, this guy over here, the vanguard.exe. You wanna make sure that is the .exe the program is going to be executing. So you're gonna to wanna to press okay. And that should do it, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and click out of this guy. And that should run this uh, program over here. So all you need to do now is this is a workable version of Cardfight Area on the Mac. So go ahead and double click it. We're gonna open it up. Might take a second. There we go. And there is Cardfight Area loading up for us. And... Ta-da! Here we go. This is the final product, guys. It is a working version of Cardfight Area completely runnable here on the Mac. Go ahead and press this test button. You can see I can draw some cards here. Looks like I'm playing a weird uh, Shadow Paladin deck. Oh, I have all my crits here though. I'm going to put those to the bottom. It is a little laggy for me currently at the moment due to running OBS at the same time, but if you're not running OBS, you should be okay. It works fully well. Oh no, this hand is terrible. All right, so well, we're gonna back out of that. <laughs> Leave, yes please. All right, and you know, if I wanted to, look, I can go to connect. I can enter IP address, my nickname, sure. I can choose a character. Let's go ahead and choose uh, Noah over here. Sure, why not? Uh, what am I gonna call myself? Baka 754, sure, okay. My password, Baka 754. There we go. You can click registration, sure. Baka 754, okay. And there we go, I am on Carpet Area. There I am. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm in this weird Christmas land. But I am on Mac and I am running Carpet Area. I can fight somebody if I want to, but I don't want to be that guy that uh, <laughs> quits out of uh, a uh, match just because of a video. But yep, there you go, guys. It is a fully functioning version of Mac. Uh, hopefully the tutorial itself was very self-explanatory and straightforward. I'm sorry if things did get maybe a little bit confusing, but of course, if you do have questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you guys if I can. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I hope you found this uh, tutorial quite helpful. My name is John from Team Gradelock and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!